Hello and welcome back to another Hobonichi flip through. This is going to be for the month of September and I am finally filming down in the office. Yeah, I'm playing around with this new setup. I have my overhead tripod, which is nowhere in sight. How amazing. <laughs> but anyway, with that said, let's get into it. All right, so for my selfie for September, as you can see, the color palette is very fall. Um, you got the green background, which I found from Pinterest. I overlaid my selfie on top of it. For the 1st of September, I took this photo of a model from a magazine and I wrote a quote that says, autumn is proof that change can be beautiful. And she's wearing all these beautiful earth tones. And on the 2nd of September, I went to Daiso and I bought a whole bunch of washi tape. So there's some cute ones with like fruit, some floral ones. It's all came in the set too, so really love that. On this page, I ripped up a photo from the magazine, put some washi tape, and then I wrote a quote that says, don't lose this moment searching for another. But we're constantly looking for something new to bring into our lives, but a lot of times we just need to be here in this moment and really send gratitude for what we have currently. I think having gratitude for everything that you already have is going to naturally give you great things in the future. On this page, I wrote a quote that says, moonlight in a quiet garden that is her beauty. This is also a set of stickers I got from Daiso. But yeah, I'm really loving the gold in these stickers. Purple tulips from Trader Joe's. Y'all may know by now that I love tulips and every time I go to Trader Joe's, I have to get a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> it's a must. On this page, I put a sticker that says, keep discovering who you are meant to be. So I bought a bunch of stickers and washi tape this month. This sticker is from the sticker book that I got from Michaels. It was in the clearance aisle and I was like, ooh, I want some new stickers for my Hobonichi. A lot of smiley faces. Super cute. And some letters. A lot of nice reminders. So yeah. There was a bunch that I saw and I was like, I kind of want to get all of them, but I decided to get this one. And on this page, I put more of the stickers. This one says, happiness is found within. And then enjoy every moment. And another sticker that says, focus on the now. On this page, I went to Goodwill with Maddie and I shared my Goodwill haul. <sighs> Usually when I go thrifting, I always ask, <laughs> the thrifting gods to be on my side and to help me find a certain item and so for this trip i was like please thrifting gods i would love to find some knit sweaters cardigans and they had my back that day i found some really cute sweaters um this one is my mood in madison it was 8.99 and this one i think is so or so i love the collar on this one and it was 8.99 and then i found a gray turtleneck which is so soft it's a like cashmere and it's from banana republic i got it for 12.99 and then a crop top from h&m which is 5.99 so i did do a process of this page on my YouTube shorts as well as my TikTok. So you can check that out if you'd like to see the actual sweaters I show in the beginning. But I also got a really nice structured tote bag. I'll insert it right here. I didn't have room to like draw it. So yeah, I love that tote bag. And it was, how much was it? I think it was like $14, but it had the tags on. It looked like it was brand new. No one used it. So yeah, I've been looking for a structured tote bag like that for a very long time. And I also got a ceramic bowl that I wanted to use for my matcha. And yeah, that was a really good trip to Goodwill. <clears throat> and on this spread, I wrote a couple of quotes. On this page, I wrote, Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. And then I did some quick watercolor washes. 
there is so much beauty around us. We just have to really pay attention. Because a lot of times we're like moving on autopilot. And so I always make it a point to really take my time wherever I'm going to take in my surroundings and really see the beauty in everyday things. And everything just becomes a lot more clear to you. Practicing mindfulness is so important. I've been practicing it for many years now and I feel like I truly appreciate every day of my life when I focus on these little things, you know, the things that we usually take for granted. So take some time out of your day to really focus on the little things in your life and see how it makes you feel. And on this page I wrote a quote that says, you are here to understand yourself, not to be understood. And I feel like now that I'm in my mid thirties, I've really learned to embrace being misunderstood. I think growing up, it was a lot hard for me because I felt like an outsider. I felt like I couldn't relate to a lot of people or people couldn't relate to me. I mean, of course I have had friends in the past who I've really connected with. You know, I've connected with so many like-minded people, but there are so many other people out there who don't understand what goes in my mind. I have so many deep, philosophical thoughts and it's like not everyone needs to understand me i'm going to share what i need to share and to speak my truth and if someone doesn't appreciate it or understand what i have to say that's fine i've learned that being here on this earth is just all about self-discovery and the people that are in our lives are there to help us in our journey if you're in the same boat if you always feel like you've been misunderstood or you feel like you really can't connect with other people on a deeper level, just continue sharing your truth. It's like what I mentioned in my last Hobonichi flip through about just being you. And when you show up as you, you will naturally attract the right people. On this page, I wrote a quote from Brianna Weiss. And it says, you should know that a period of isolation is often required before a massive breakthrough. You are here to shed layers, years, identities, relationships, and everything else that is keeping you from writing the same old story. Allow it. Walk tall and walk alone for as long as you need to. This is your becoming. This is totally what I'm going through right now. I feel like for the past couple of years, especially, I've been in deep solitude and isolation. I believe that there's a reason for everything. And I feel like this period of just being with myself is so crucial because I know that after this, there's gonna be a whole new energy coming through. I feel like the energy that I've been going through for a while is like a tower moment in the tarot where old ways and old patterns of being and thinking is crumbling down to make space for a new energy. If you're also in this period of isolation, allow it. Things will start to look up and get better. Breakfast at IHOP with mom and dad. I tried their new Southwest chicken bowl, which was pretty good. I also got their Belgian waffle, which is a must. So I've been bringing this notebook I got from Daiso. I keep it in my purse most of the time in case I want to doodle wherever I go. I only brought my micron pens with me, so I only sketched while I was there. My dad saw me drawing the IHOP mug and he's like, draw me too. And so I drew him. And then I added some watercolor when I got home. I was actually impressed. I didn't think this would hold watercolor. It actually works well on these pages. It didn't bleed, it didn't buckle. I mean, maybe a little bit, but yeah. I love these little notebooks. If you ever go to Daiso, definitely pick this up. And on this spread, I did some scrapbooking. I took some pieces from a magazine and put a couple of quotes. So on this one, I wrote a quote that says, what if everything you are going through is preparing you for everything you asked for? That's more of a question, but still. <laughs> on this page, I took a piece of paper. I got a few things from Daiso actually. I also got this thing. It's a pack of colored drawing paper and it's all muted, which y'all know I love. Look at this. Got blue, grays, purples, and browns. So I took a piece of that for the background and then this 
piece from a magazine and I wrote a quote. I think I wrote this. Yeah, I wrote this probably last year. And it says, the transition from summer to fall is when I find myself in deep introspection. It's a stage when I feel the need to find a new approach to how I do things. When I continue to follow my creative flow during this transition, this is when I feel I'm evolving the most. I start to look and feel different in the best way possible. And on this page, I took a piece from the magazine, this beautiful image of the beach. And on this piece of washi tape, I wrote a quote that says, and like the waves, I will fall, I will rise. And I think it says, Mahin dot I, I think. <laughs> Today's mood. <laughs> on this day, I went to the gym, which explains this cat <laughs> working out. <laughs> and after my workout, this is how I felt. Like I was so sore and tired. Our first dragon fruit harvest. I'm sure I mentioned it before, but we actually have, I think two or three dragon fruit trees in the backyard. Dragon fruit is one of my favorite fruits. And I always look forward to this time of the year and it's still coming out. It's still producing more fruit. I drew the first dragon fruit that we opened. It was so good. I especially love fruit when it's cold, so I make sure to put it in the fridge first and then I eat it. And I think this is just some sticker from, I think an avocado. <laughs> I think it was for the avocado. I didn't want to throw it away, so I just put it on this page. And on this page, I put a sticker that says, you got this. I was probably feeling a little low, so I needed that reminder. On this page, I did a little pop-up. I wrote, pay attention. And then I found this picture of Erica Badu in the magazine. So I cut her out. And then I took this cutout of a frame and made it into a door. So when you open it, you'll see a fortune. <laughs> this one says, if you look in the right places, you can find some good offerings. This idea came to me out of nowhere. And so that was a really cute idea. I practiced drawing a car while I waited for Maddie to get out of school. So I drew this in the same sketchbook from Daiso. Just did a really quick sketch. I actually attempted to do like a process video, but I didn't have a tripod with me, so it didn't turn out well. <laughs> so I just scrapped it. But yeah, I just drew a Tesla and I put, put a license plate. Hello, with a smiley face. A new season is coming. Whether it brings excitement for change or fear of the unknown, I hope you know that your response is your choice. You can begin the season with a new perspective on change and open heart to what time may bring. Even here in this moment of fear and excitement, you can find a sense of calmness. And it's by Mole, Mo Mole <laughs> underscore T. And then I found this image from the magazine like lemons and then like a it was like a cocktail drink i was influenced to buy origami star paper because of the sea drama hidden love and i wrote autumn equinox i'm already feeling the change in the atmosphere and energy so maddie and i actually watched this chinese drama called hidden love i haven't watched a chinese drama in Gosh, I feel like a decade. <laughs> I used to watch Chinese dramas when I first got into Asian dramas, but this was the first one I watched in a long time. And it was really good, we finished it. The main girl made these paper stars, which I used to do when I was younger. So Maddie and I thought like, oh, we should get some because it'd be a really fun way to like, you know, write our manifestations, like put it in a jar and everything. So I bought a whole pack from Amazon, which is pretty inexpensive. Comes with a bunch of colors. And yeah, I've been using that for like my manifestations and it's a really fun idea. So on this page, I wrote a quote that says, I know that love is real because I exist. I'm full of it. I found this like heart sponge and then I put some like wash paints on it. On this page, I found a prompt on Pinterest and the question was, when do you feel most connected to yourself? 
And my answer was, when I create art, during meditation, when I dance to my favorite music, in solitude, when I spend time in nature, and when I listen to my gut and intuition. Let me put a washi tape here. This is around the time I got my new Hobonichi. If you haven't seen my Hobonichi unboxing, I'll leave it in the cards for you. But I just cut out this quote from their little pamphlet. I still have it. I just cut out a piece from this page. I showed it in the unboxing video. Yeah, it says, life is present. Life is a beating pulse of life. Life is irreplaceable life of every person. Life is the everyday life we live and what do you see in front of you? Life is, is this very moment. Life is a gift. Life is present. I thought that was a cute little drawing <laughs> with the Hobonichis and some cute little animals below. Living in balance because too much of anything isn't healthy. So the image showed the balance between work and play, solitude and socializing, discipline and freedom, and stillness and movement. The solitude and socializing, this reminds me of myself because in human design, I'm a 2-4 sacral generator. And if you know anything about human design, being a 2-4 is basically this, like having a balance of being in solitude, which is the two profile, and then socializing and networking, which is my four profile. So yeah, life is just all about balance. You hear Charlie in the background. Anyway, so on this page, it says, Welcome to the Puppet Show. Oh my gosh. XG. Their mini album came out on this day, I believe. Yes, around this time. <sighs> I'm so proud of my girls. Their mini album is so good. <laughs> okay, like, first of all, I love their song X Gene. I wish it was longer. Why they gotta do that to us? But it was so good. X Gene was really good. Puppet Show was really good too. The music video got me so emotional for some reason. So on this page, I drew a pair of hands holding um, letters that spell out Puppet Show. And that's the XG logo. Today, Leela's seventh birthday at Corvette Diner. So Leela is my niece, my brother's daughter. Um, she turned seven. And what's so fascinating is that Maddie, Charlie, and Leela, they all celebrated their seventh birthday at Corvette Diner. Yeah, and then I documented Charlie's seventh birthday earlier this year in my Hoba Nichi, which is like, when's his birthday? January 28th? Where is it at? Yeah, see? <laughs> this is a Corvette Diner too. The seventh birthday. I wasn't able to take a picture of Leela, I forgot to, but it was so fun. I got the Ike and Tina tuna melt, which was so good. Um, it consisted of all white albacore tuna salad with melted cheddar, Swiss and tomatoes on rye with sweet potato fries. Their sweet potato fries were so good. I devoured that. <laughs> And on this day, I drew a couple of students at my niece's school. I was just sitting in the car waiting for her. And then afterwards, we went to RMBT. I got the matcha milk tea with egg pudding. And then my brother-in-law got the horchata milk tea with boba. And then for Charlie, he got the chocolate Oreo stormy. And then my sister got the strawberry matcha latte with whole milk and boba. And then Maddie got the mango stormy with egg pudding. Now we've reached the last day. So I didn't write any highlights for this month because honestly, September wasn't the best month. I was pretty freaking emotional. <laughs> I decided to write down my favorite songs this month. So like you saw on the previous page, I wrote XG's Puppet Show and X Gene. I wanna share some quick snippets of the songs in case you guys haven't heard it. Okay, that's Puppet Show and then X Gene. Okay, that's X Jean. And then next, MCTU, baggy jeans and the bat. In the car, when I pick up Maddie, I'm always playing my whole K-pop faves <laughs> in the car. So I have a whole list of them, but this is baggy jeans. 
my NC2U. Back, 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 and then the bat. These boys, I swear. Okay. <laughs> I do really love NCT. And if you didn't know, NCT cons consists about, I think 20 members now, but NCT consists of different units. That's NCT Dream, NCT 127, NCT U, and they kind of switch members every now and then. But I think out of the two songs, I am really digging the bat. <sighs> Please watch the MV <laughs> because eye candy. And then next is V, Love Me Again, For Us, and Slow Dancing. I don't really consider myself an ARMY. I never really got into BTS. Out of all the members, I really love V's voice and his music, like his mini album right now. Layover, I couldn't stop listening to it. So, Love Me Again. Ugh. Getting to me in the feels. And for us, it's probably my favorite out of the whole album. The Tiny Desk Korea. I watched it so many times. It's so good. I love all the backup singers, the band. Oh, jazzy vibes. And then slow dancing. I do like the other songs too, but those three are my favorites out of the whole album. And then next, Dre Scott, Feelings, live. Now I'm not gonna play the live version, but the live version is definitely my favorite. So good. And this next one, I think he's French Chinese. There was one source that said he was Vietnamese French, but I think the majority said he was Chinese French. So Monsieur, did I say that right? Monsieur Nov. It's a Nov line five Ella. This song is making me want to learn French again. Sir, you can serenade me anytime. <laughs> and then last is Cleo Soul, There Will Be No Crying. No crying. No cry. <laughs> I wish I can play the, the full songs, but that's that. If you're interested in any of those, definitely look it up. Um, it's all on Spotify, on YouTube. But anyway, that's it for this Hobonichi flip through. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you haven't watched my Hobonichi unboxing, I talked about how for 2024, I will not be continuing this Hobonichi flip throughs because I've decided to use my Hobonichi for my morning pages next year. But I did say that I will continue this content, but in a sketchbook. So you'll see flip throughs of that, but it won't be every month. If you have been enjoying my Hobonichi flip throughs this year, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.